what's this? You return to me seeking even more knowledge and power. You deserve nothing. Your duty to... <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. When you attach an octo balloon to a piece of equipment and pick it up at the same time, a number of different side effects are possible. Those side effects include having the octo balloon attached to something that you have equipped, arrow smuggling, and something a little more useful, duplicating equipment. Now I wouldn't say this method of duplication is better than menu overloading, it'll cost you octo balloons to do, but it works as an early game method when you might not have a bunch of multi-shot bows on you. Here is how to perform it pretty consistently. Unequip your weapon, bow, or shield, depending on what type of thing you're duping. For example, if you want to dupe the Twilight Bow, don't have any bow equipped. Face links back to a wall, so that equipment are dropped at your feet. Drop an Octo Balloon in place. This can be done by activating Magnesis and holding the Octo Balloon while your magnet is getting shot out. Unpause to drop the balloon, wait approximately one second, then pause again. Drop the piece of equipment you want to dupe. Unpause and press A in very quick succession. If done right, you can pick up the piece of equipment twice. Here it is again with the camera less obscured for a better idea of what's going on. Specific equipment can be quite finicky sometimes. It took me like 30 tries to dupe the hero shield once, but others I could do with ease. So don't panic and immediately call the glitch patched if you don't get it. Sometimes you may end up with a duped piece of equipment that can't be picked up. You can always try again, but if you insist on picking that one up, you can have a Bokoblin pick it up, then disarm or kill them for it. Or disarm and kill them with it. An elaborate excuse for murder! Also, if you time your drop right when the Octo Balloon stops accepting things to be attached to, around two seconds, it's possible to dupe without using up the Octo Balloon. Meaning, it's technically possible to dupe as many times as you want with only a single Octo Balloon. That's pretty neat. That's enough about duping. Let's explore the other possibilities. If you perform the duping steps but with the piece of equipment equipped, there's a couple of things you can do. First of all, you get the balloon stuck to your held equipment. Which sadly does not let you float. I was using a different glitch to do that, which I'm sure you want to know now. Bonus glitch! Pull out your bow after the peak of your jump when holding a cuckoo. This has been Bonus Glitch, back to having a balloon stuck to you. You can use stasis on the balloon, pull it through time, have the rope thing go crazy, and have the balloon launch into things at insane speeds. Performing this on weapons can give you some different aesthetic results. You can have a weapon equipped without the sheath, or swing around unactivated ancient weapons. But only the ones that I'm showing now.
And if you do all those steps, but draw an arrow before dropping your bow, you'll get arrow smuggling. Also, the balloon will struggle with its existence. This one seems pretty tame, but after waiting around three minutes and then changing arrows, things can get pretty intense. Sometimes it will even overload the menu. If your arrow smuggling isn't the fully charged arrow variant, after waiting around 10 minutes, you can get your very own choppy elemental fairy. Pulling out your bow will cancel all of this. Since I just covered arrow smuggling, I'll cover all the other equipment smuggling glitches as well. And we'll learn that interrupting animations by taking off your shield is a prominent way to break those animations. I have briefly covered this before. Interrupt your weapon sheathing animation by taking off your shield, and we'll enter the rune locked state. You can't use any runes except bomb runes and the camera rune, which will kick you out immediately when trying. With the weapon rune locked state, you can vibrate by holding down the whistle and throw buttons. To do weapon smuggling, just throw an object such as a bomb while in the weapon rune locked state. And then the weapon is now stuck to your hand. Though keep in mind you'll have to jump and spawn the bomb, as spawning it while standing will cancel your rune locked state. Weapon smuggling can lead to one other smuggling glitch. After activating weapon smuggling, Equip one of the bomb runes, and equip a shield. Spawn the bomb in your hand. Equip a one-handed weapon, a different one if you're already equipped with one. Unpause briefly, then unequip your shield. Then, the bomb will be stuck to your hand. Though a lot of stuff cancels it. If you're using the quick menus to change to a different one-handed weapon and take off your shield, the brief unpause that's required happens automatically. Same idea and steps as weapon smuggling, but with a bow. Interrupt your bow sheathing animation by taking off your shield, and we'll enter the bow rune locked state, also known as B-lock, because running is also locked which is the X button for me because I have changed jump buttons on, but that's besides the point. Most people press B to run. There's a lot of fun stuff to be had with B-Lock. Holding the run button and a direction can produce some fun animation glitches. It essentially freezes Link into his last grounded animation that doesn't loop. For example, jumping and then holding the run button and a direction, Link will be frozen at the end of his landing animation. If you do this while holding ZL, and then let go of ZL, you can slide around in the Frozen animation. Set yourself free from cleaning with the Wild Cleaning Roomba Hero. Roomba's advanced B-Lock technology replaces conventional loud vacuums, giving you complete silence and greater cleaning performance. I used to struggle between keeping the hideout safe from intruders and keeping it tidy. Oh jeez, what a mess. But with the wild cleaning Roomba Hero, I can get back to what really matters. Yo, what the fuck? With Roomba Hero doing the cleaning, you can do more living.
hand in the frozen animation. If you do the step up animation and hold run in a direction, the animation you'll be stuck in is actually unaffected by gravity, letting you float if pushed by anything. Look! Look at me! I am a god! Using B-Lock, you can also moonwalk, give yourself the stanky arm, and bang your head against the wall. If you want to learn those as well, go watch Silly Cat's video. I'll have it linked in the description and in the info tab. And finally, to actually get the bow smuggling, just throw an object while in the B-Lock state. This one's a bit different and less fun. Have a bow and shield equipped, hold out your shield, pull out your bow, but then immediately take off your bow. This will put you into a rune-locked state where you also can't run or use bomb runes. The shield is stuck to your hand in animations it normally wouldn't, and that's about it. This is shield smuggling. It's kind of lame in comparison to the others. Not too sure about this one being called smuggling. It doesn't exactly let you hold the Sheikah Slate outside its regular animations like the others, but it does have some fun properties to it. Have a shield equipped, and have either Magnesis, Stasis, Cryonis, Master Cycle, or Amiibo Rune pulled out. Cancel it by pressing ZL, then immediately take off your shield. The rune is no longer active, but Link is still holding the Sheikah Slate as if it is. Nothing real special yet. If you re-equip a shield, and then immediately unequip it again, you can have Link spin in place. Or, if you did it while moving, you can have Link automatically walk for you. He'll walk in circles if he's walking at even a slight angle, but you can change the direction you automatically move in, and try to make it straight if you want. It's mostly useless, but only mostly. Letting Link walk in circles automatically is a nice way to do the Dark Beast Ganon overloading, without needing to manually walk in and out of the store for like 30 minutes. There's one final smuggling glitch, but it's the most complicated of them all. We'll need to learn one other thing, and then combine multiple stuff we learned. The other thing we need to learn is the Golden Gauntlets glitch. It's been dubbed this because it allows Link to carry heavier objects like this barrel as easily as a bomb. This works for anything you can pick up. Link is a strong boy now. So, here's how to perform it. Equip a bomb rune and a weapon or bow. Go up to the thing you want to pick up, facing generally south. Unsheathe your weapon or bow, and then perform this quick sequence. A, right stick, L. Or, if actions are clearer, pick up, scope, bomb rune. You might be wondering, why do I need to be facing generally to the south? That's because facing the other direction, generally north, has a different effect. The thing you try to pick up becomes invisible. Yeah, it's weird, I don't know why it does that. With that out of the way, we can now move on to pick up smuggling. We're essentially going to use a combination of the Golden Gauntlets glitch and the bomb smuggling, which you already know relies on weapon smuggling. Here's what to do. Perform weapon smuggling. Re-equip your shield, and have a bomb rune equipped. Approach the thing you want to pick up, facing generally south, and crouch down. Then, perform this very quick sequence. L, D-pad down, A. Or, bomb rune, whistle, pick up. If done quick enough, Link will have the thing picked up while whistling, before the whistle ends, you will want to switch to a different one-handed weapon, unpause briefly, then take off your shield. This will attach the thing you picked up to your hand. And, just like the Golden Gauntlets glitch, it can be done on anything that can be picked up.
Link is a very strong boy. There's of course some fun things you can do with this, and more being explored as I make this video. One of the fun things is physics! It can also work well as a shield against projectiles. It also makes for some very effective sailing. Do it with a pebblet for fun. You got a problem with my arm, buddy? Why don't you say it to my face? <laughs> If you throw a rock and quickly pick it back up, you can constantly scare Bokoblins with it. But it's funnier if you do it with pickup smuggling instead. Come here, boy, let me eat that ass. Done with Kukos, and you can fly around with one hand. Although, interestingly, if you do pick up smuggling on the Kuka while facing north, it still acts as if you picked it up, and... Unfortunately, just as if you picked up something, any action that would have you drop it will cancel it, which is most actions. Still quite cool though. Anyway, those are the smuggling glitches. That's about all I have for you. May this knowledge prolong your tomfoolery in this game. Farewell.